Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and um, consolidate these two boxes together because this hive, it made it through the Formic Pro, but the population is really low on this hive. Um, there's actually, maybe, maybe, I'm lucky if there's like actually one box of bees. So, best thing to do is to consoli consolidate the two boxes. Then, what I might do is this hive over here, I looked through this hive twice. They're not acting like they're queenless. Like they're not, you know, they're not aggressive. They're not like making that loud roar. They just seem like normal bees. I just can't find any eggs. There's no sign of eggs brood and I can't find a queen. I've already searched it twice. So I think I'm going to search it one more time. And then um, if there's no queen, then I'm going to take this, this hive here and combine it with this hive, this weaker hive. So anyway, that's what's on the agenda, but I won't do that combine right away. I, I might wait till next weekend to do that. And do I have any smoke? I don't know if I have any smoke. Where's my smoke? There it is. See, you can't see it, but there's hardly any bees in there at all. And this top box, there's a few of them crawling around. Bottom box should have a few more bees in it. Let's check it out. I can smoke some of these bees down in there. Get down there, bees. So, for the longest time, I thought that like you couldn't overwinter bees in Pennsylvania in singles, but that is not true. A lot of people do it. I did it last year. I've been, I, I do it whenever I have like a, a hive that has low population like this, but I'm thinking about actually like, ouch, mm -hmm. just got stung. I'm thinking about actually doing it to all my hives eventually, as soon as I build up my confidence mm -hmm. with it. Heavy though. Heavy. And see, there's not a whole lot of bees in there either. So they could easily, they could easily be consolidated down to this one one colony. I'm sorry, this one box. The problem is the bees are all in the bottom box, which doesn't have any stores in it at all. So I'm going to have to take some of these empty frames out and then put some of these honey frames, these frames in. So There's all kinds of robbing going on today, so I got to try, to try to be quick about this. So, just brush these off. I've been out here in the yard for a while. I'm kind of losing my patience. Just want to get it over with. And I definitely got to be up the pant leg. It's just a matter of. It's just a matter of time before they get me. See me how I'm starting to rush around now? I... Making mistakes. That's a nice frame of pollen there. I'll keep that. She's still laying in here. I was in this hive yesterday too, so I'm sure they're, they're getting aggravated with me. More pollen. It was last year whenever I had a couple hives that were really weak and I 
I just didn't want to lose them, so I tried to. Looks like I reduced them down to one, one brood chamber, and it worked. There's some, there's some brood. I'm definitely gonna keep that. Pollen. And I've been uh, overwintering singles on top of doubles using a double screen divider, and that works very well. Also, in fact, I'll be doing that this year because I got a, a hive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that with it. It's a lot of pollen on that. Try to keep those bees out of there. It's robber bees. There's some pollen and honey on this one, but there's much better frames in that box, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap this one out. Now, before I put those honey frames in here, I need to flip my bottom board. I've been wanting to do that all summer, so this is a good time to do it. Good time to do it because this box is much lighter. All right. Okay, I, I shut the camera off while I was cleaning this bottom board because my, my battery doesn't last very long. Okay. okay. Now, put some honey frames in there. Got to get the rest of the bees in there. Some of these bees are going to come home with me. We'll be without a home, that's basically. I can't even get them scraped, brushed off. They're landing on the back on the frame faster than I can brush them off. That's what a robbing frenzy looks like. So luckily for me, it's gonna be dark in a few hours. Luckily for the bees, it's gonna be dark in a few hours. You can see that there, what's going on there. So I gotta get an entrance reducer in there real quick. Putting the entrance reducer in with the the small notch facing out there. That way, that now the bees can at least protect the hive a little more easily. See, the bees are feeding clear over on this hive. See them trying to find a way in? What they're trying to do right there, trying to find a way in. It's really tough to work bees this time of year. This one's okay. That one looks okay. Maybe a little bit of fighting going on there. That one's that one's okay. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a dearth going on right, right now. I'll be glad to see some cold weather set in. Give me a couple days in the 50s so these bees calm down. This one right here needs a 
entrance reducer on it. Look at that. I didn't realize that didn't have an entrance reducer on it. This one here, I'm gonna reduce this one down. We've had some really nice weather up here in Pennsylvania. It's like been in the 60s and the 70s, but that's gonna change real quick. So we're gonna be in a our normal temperatures right now would be in, in the low 60s maybe. They like it when you do that. There. Come on. Okay. There it goes. Fence is on. Okay, so it was a really good weekend of beekeeping. I accomplished all my goals. Except for the goal of starting the robbing frenzy. I did a pretty good job on that even though I didn't want to. But you got to do things when you can. Um, I did, I, I wanted to reduce that hive down, which I did that. It's, it's in one one uh, deep now. I fed bees. I did my oxalic acid treatments this morning when it was colder out. So um, I'm kind of caught up right now. I have enough food feed. I'm going to do maybe like, I can feed like maybe like two more hives. I got enough syrup left for that. But, I mean, all my, my, so far my hives look pretty good, um, weight-wise. Got to figure out what to do with that hive right there. Got to make sure that it's queenless before I do any kind of a um, combine. But that'll be next weekend. Yeah, hopefully the temperatures drop down. Bees everywhere. I really started a good robbing frenzy. Must have been some honey on the ground right there. Okay, here's an update on this hive. This is the queenless hive that went queenless because of Formic Pro. Well, four weeks later, four weeks after I installed Formic Pro, the queen decides to start laying again. I came out here to do a combine because I was, at this point, like I thought like it has to be queenless. I came out here to do the combine. I thought, I'm gonna check it one more time to see if there's any eggs or any anything going on in there. And yes, I find eggs and there's a laying queen in there. And I, I checked this hive twice for a queen didn't find a queen but I was skeptical because she wasn't the bees weren't acting like they were queenless they they you know they weren't aggressive and they weren't doing that loud humming that they do when they're queenless so like, it didn't act queenless but there just like was no eggs no sign of a laying queen at all now this queen did last May we had a lot of rain last May and she did shut down on me in the month of May for the entire month she didn't lay anything so um, there's something with this queen where she's just shutting down. She's just like going on like a one month vacation whenever she feels like it, which isn't good. So I'm going to have to requeen her in the spring, but I'm just happy to see that I don't have to combine this hive. I'm not going to lose it. It's a really good hive. Um, it has a good population, but I just think that's crazy. Um, for a four week shutdown on my queen. Hmm. Anyway, I'm Darren, Pennsylvania beekeeper. See you next time.